right kids you can see the bathroom project is coming along that's the hardybacker floor with red guard on it and I have been tiling the shower now we are doing three by six subway tiles so I have to stop here around the window because I need the window installed to be able to determine how long of pieces to put in the rest of the way. But here we go, we have these uh, accent strips that are going to go in here and um, there's one above and one below and I put tape on these and I put them in here and then uh, taped and shimmed them in position so that I could do the accent row and you'll see that this accent row is kind of a beveled style tile and so it just kind of adds a nice little touch then I'm gonna put the soap tray over here there's the soap tray there and it will rest right in here and then there'll be a little piece of tile here and then an accent strip and then those beveled tiles above that and then uh, I have been putting in this here front wall today and you can see I have the lines are all matching up very nicely in the corners I've got nice uh, uh, consistent gaps on all the tiles where they meet in the corner and then I put this uh, border up here at the corner of the wall and so when you install these kind of tiles you need to be sure that when you put them in the corner that you're putting them on is rounded because if you put it on a square corner you see how it's not going to fit so you need to round off these corners in the duroc enough to be able to put the corners and then the corners uh, they are they have a different gap interval uh, about like a eighth inch um, difference for each course and so down here you can see the gap here versus the gap on the field tile and each row the gap gets a little tighter so someplace right in about halfway up it will line up um, it probably won't line up but it will be close anyway so anyway um, these border pieces here I put them down to the floor first and I have them spaced up enough so that when I do the floor tile I can mortar the floor and then slip floor tile under that so I have the bottom tile spaced up just enough to be able to put uh, the marble under it and then we just built up the wall all the way to the ceiling and one of the things that you have got to do when you do that is you need a level or a straight edge and a level but you see here the tiles are all nice and flat against the level and then it's not perfectly plumb but it's just the way the wall is so anyway uh, that is what you do you put these tiles in and you kind of have to follow the wall then when you do these tiles um, then you have to do just a little maybe an ever so slight adjustment cut for any angle uh, these ones here I have not had to do anything so also remember this front wall these tiles all had to be cut up about a quarter of an inch and you can see that quarter of an inch there as this tile is wrapping around the tub okay 
so that I'll make another piece below that going down to the floor and uh, tile all that area in. But remember, the tub has a slight slope going um, back. And so uh, you always determine where your tallest uh, uh, point is, uh, or the lowest point of the tub, and at the lowest point you put a full tile, and then you come across, and each successive tile is about a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the one before it. And so you start over there with the full tile, and when you get over here, you have about five sixteenths or so less tile. And then across the front is level, so all these ones are the same. And then once again, you can see how much had to be cut from the tiles to achieve level. And uh, by level, what I'm saying is you need to get the top of the first row level. Um, because if you just put your tile down on top of the tub and start tiling, then you're going to have rows that are all slanted, and you do not want that. So you have to set your first row of tile in level, and then that sets up the rest of it for an easy level job. And you see how these all have nice straight lines to them. They're going on just beautifully. Um, and so there's the one soap dish. But yeah, anyway, uh, so I have, uh, what I'm doing here is I've got a full tile, half tile, full tile, half tile. And then we go over to that wall there and we just die into the wall. And so uh, we end up with a pretty consistent length of tile here. We have a long and a short, long, short, long, short. Okay. But you always start out here and die into the corner. And so then when I finish this wall here tomorrow, then this back wall is going to be easier than the front wall. It's just a flat field so no special work on it but I do need to come over here to a certain point and um, then what I'll do is I will put these here flat bullnose border pieces and those are going to come along here and so you see here is the border between the sheetrock green board and the duroc here and so i'm going to have the uh, bullnose tile end out here somewhere and the last uh, subway tile will span that so that it will be a full tile crossing between the two different types of wall uh, material and uh, so that uh, should work out pretty nicely and then, once again, I will space the bottom up so that the marble will just fit right under it. So things are coming along really nicely. Um, got to, uh, I have to cut around that faucet piece there, so I'll be taking a bunch of uh, tiles and... Uh, cutting the curve out of them and uh, then you see down here I have a carbide drill that made the hole for the tub spout and then I'll do the same thing for the shower outlet up here okay so that's uh, that is your update for now and uh, maybe I will do a time lapse so coming up I'm gonna show you how to get that first course of tile level and then I'm going to show you some uh, about eight minutes of time lapse. I got this here three by six tile and when you 
start doing tile, you have to figure out, you start off with figuring out what is level, okay? So here is a level, and if you look at the bubble in there, you can see that the bubble is a little bit off, and so we're going to raise the level, okay? So we need to adjust it on this side. Okay, there you see the bubble is between the lines now. Okay. So what we have is the tub slopes a little bit down on the back end here which makes this the high end of the tub. So, if we tile in here, it's going to look like the tile has a slope to it, and we want to have our tiles perfectly level. So what we've done is made a level line here, and we've determined where the low point of the tub is and we make that where we have a full size tile so you see the tile against the level line there and then as we come across here there's the center line right there and as we get to the center line you can see that the tile is now above the level line and then let's go to the front end of the tub And you can see how much the tile is above the level line. Okay, oh, well, that stupid thing come on. There, okay. So you can see how much of the tile is above the level line now. So what we have to do is, as the tile comes across the tub here, the first row, we need to cut that much off the bottom of the tile and so the first course is going to get smaller as we get up to the front end of the tub and then this course across the front of the tub is going to be uh, have a quarter of an inch cut out of that but uh, the rest of the tile will be perfectly level the marble for the floor which is in this box it's not quite the marble I wanted but it will work so there you go has a little bit of uh, mottling inside of there a little bit of green gray so that'll work well with the paint scheme that's in there now and we have our countertop materials so we've got three countertops that we're looking at choosing from and uh, these two probably work best with this floor alone but when you take into account the paint scheme of the room this one here brings in some good options too so this is the one that we're probably going to go with
Okay, so this is what we got done today. We got about a third or maybe half of the wall here, the lower half. So you can see the first course of tile to the tub 
you can just make out that it gets smaller as it goes to the right of the front of the tub and that way we end up with a perfectly level tile job so not everything is always perfect but this uh, this is pretty good so now that's as close as I want to come to the window until I have the window so I'll continue going up the side and across the top um, I'll really be going up both sides in the meeting across the top and I'll keep the level with me you can see here with the level that we have maintained a flat surface across the top here I guess you can't really see it with the shadow but uh, uh, you can see that we're pretty level in the bubble so that's good it's uh, all the tiles are touching the straight edge of the level so we know we have a nice straight row going across no staircasing issues that's the main thing that you want to do is uh, it's all in the setup you want to get as level and perfectly straight across in the first row and the second row and if you can get everything all perfectly straight and lined up then the rest of it will pretty much automatically go just that way and uh, we use these eighth inch shims all through here and uh, those space the tile evenly and then I have the soap dishes already um, mortared in that's the lower one for the tub if you're taking a bath and you can see that it's about the same depth as the sidewall of the tub and then the next one um, we're gonna have the decorative row here and then we'll have a shelf and a sh soap dish for when you're taking a shower so those are going to be the next items that I have to uh, make sure to place so yeah anyway uh, happy with the results it, it'll be nice when everything's all done we're not quite there yet but we're getting there every day is a day closer Okay, well, let me close up shop here and head home, make some dinner. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this remodel.